Well, I made a video on the Dallas Stars disgraceful troll, and I gotta say, you know, through the course of today, through the course of this video being live, I have gone through a whole mix of emotions and a whole sense of things that are, are right in the world, and it's coming back full circle to absolute things that are wrong in the world. Now, things have been revealed that the DJ for the Dallas Stars had no clue about the situation for La Bamba with the Edmonton Oilers. However, I would like to say that's not necessarily true. May 25th, the day of the game, was the day that the NHL fights cancer. This was a post by the NHL in particular. There would have been graphics during the game over this situation of Ben with the Edmonton Oilers. This was something that was being being promoted by the NHL themselves. There would have been a whole sense of that. Now, the tie-in with La Bamba, uh, maybe not, maybe so. I am not entirely sure. And unless the Dallas Stars actually comes out with some sort of statement saying that they had no clue about this situation, which I highly suspect they really did have a clue about this situation. And apparently the DJ has done this for every team they have won against during this entire season of the NHL. Taking the opposing team's victory song, and when the Stars win on home ice, they are playing it during their win. This is an absolute disgraceful method of professional level hockey. Taking another team's victory song in itself is just, I, I can't even fathom that that's an actually good idea. And it just happens to be this one situation where they're playing against the Oilers that the song has more meaning behind it than it just being a victory song. It is something more to the Edmonton Oilers, to the fan base, to the city of Edmonton, and everyone in the NHL. It means so much more. It means so much more that even the Team Canada of the the world's juniors they're playing it that's why this song means so much so i find it very hard to believe that the dj had to do any research for this because this was a viral trend for ben saying play la bamba baby well i made a video on the dallas stars disgraceful troll and i gotta say you know through the course of today, through the course of this video being live, I have gone through a whole mix of emotions and a whole sense of things that are, are right in the world, and it's coming back full circle to absolute things that are wrong in the world. Things have been revealed that the DJ for the Dallas Stars had no clue about the situation for La Bamba with the Edmonton Oilers. However, I would like to say that's not necessarily true. May 25th, the day of the game, was the day that the NHL fights cancer. This was a post by the NHL in particular. There would have been graphics during the game over this situation of Ben with the Edmonton Oilers. This was something that was being, being promoted by the NHL themselves. There would have been a whole sense of that. Now, the tie-in with La Bamba, uh, maybe not, maybe so, I am not entirely sure, and unless the Dallas Stars actually comes out with some sort of statement saying that they had no clue about this situation, which I highly suspect they really did have a clue about this situation, and apparently the DJ has done this for every team they have won against during this entire season of the NHL, taking the opposing teams victory song and when the stars win on home ice they are playing it during their win this is an absolute disgraceful method of professional level hockey taking another team's victory song in itself is just i i can't even fathom that that's an actually good idea and it just happens to be this one situation where they're playing against the oilers that the song has more meaning behind it than it just being a victory song. It is something more to the Edmonton Oilers, to the fan base, to the city of Edmonton, and everyone 
in the NHL. It means so much more. It means so much more that even the Team Canada of the, the World's Juniors, they're playing it. That's why this song means so much. So I find it very hard to believe that the DJ had to do any research for this because this was a viral trend for Ben saying, play La Bamba, baby. To set the record straight, people have uh, sat out there, I usually love a good troll job. We all do. Everyone loves to troll. I absolutely love the trolling that comes out of the NHL. I love the fan base, just people being all around funny with their actual fan base, promoting their team and doing things amazingly for their team. But La Bamba is, it, it meant more than just a victory. Uh, in this particular case, that song has a lot of meaning, not just for Euler fans, but the whole community. This is one song that should be offhand for trolling. And the WCF Shippy, which is actually the Dallas Stars music director, the person that played the song. Yeah, I'm sorry. I had no idea about the meaning connection behind the song. I didn't even know it was their win song until recently. This is something I've been doing all year after home wins, but I definitely won't be playing it anymore. And this is what I mean. This is what I mean. Yes, he did not know this situation with uh, La Bamba, but you playing the victory song of the opposing teams after they lose in your arena is a very disgraceful method of trolling the entire NHL. And that is not something that is acceptable at all. There's a level of trolling and then there's this. And this doesn't, this isn't trolling at this point. This type of thing with playing the opponent's song really leads to bad, very bad karma. It, it, it just has a very bad feeling in a person's mouth and it can't be good. It, what, what kind of psychological karma are you trying to bring down on the Dallas Stars? I just feel that this type of thing, it, 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 it's not something that is very nice. Uh, you know, troll away. But when it comes to victory songs and you're playing in your own arena after you beat that team, that just means they're going to come back and they're going to come back even harder and harder. And then you have an uphill battle. It, it, it just incites this fire that will create something even more. And this is what I mean. It's not, you know, karma is one thing. If you really do believe in karma, if you believe that you got to change your socks for every game or wear the same ones for every game or something like that, that's besides the point. But this is, this is La Bamba and... It was something more for just the team. Now, like in my video, at the end of the video, I said, you know what, let's do something positive. Let's start donating to Ben's foundation, share it out, do all these other things with it because it means so much more than the Oilers going to the cup final, than the Dallas Stars going to the cup final. I don't care about your team going to the final on this situation. It's the fact that a little boy, six years old, passed away from cancer and he became the icon for the Edmonton Oilers, became the icon of the community. On top of Joey Moss, which was a long time Oiler in that sense. He's a legend in this community. And he it's just unfathomable that that's not where the support's gonna go. Thank you, maybe we can make something good of this. There is a charity that the Dallas Star is passionate about. I'd like to donate. Uh, Oilers Nation would be inclined to do the same in return to make a do donation to the Ben Stellar Fund. So this is something, and then WFC Shippy responded with that and said, done with a heart. He made a large, he made a donation. I don't know how much, I don't care how much. The, the, the idea of making the donation to the Ben Stellar Foundation, and this is spawning even more out of it where people are just donating in the name of the Dallas Stars and they're just donating through. And this actually is very heartwarming that I am seeing everyone coming together and actually donating and doing a lot more for Ben and his family and everything 
for this uh, this foundation. It's absolutely heartwarming in that sense. Now, I have seen some uh, some Dallas Star fans come in there and attempt to troll, and I'm just linking Ben's foundation link to there uh, on top of that. And you know what? Look, let's talk about one thing that I see going around here where everyone's saying Vancouver would have had a better time against uh, Dallas. Well, M did beat Vancouver, um, and that Edmonton is a wimpy team and all this other stuff. Edmonton went up against Vegas and Colorado uh, the last two years. Those two teams went on to win the cup. You have to go through the Edmonton Oilers to win the cup. That's the plain and simple that you should be getting from this for the Stanley Cup playoffs. If you beat the Edmonton Oilers, your chances of winning the cup right now is astronomical. They are the team to beat. And, you, and people sitting there calling them wimpy, calling them anything else if you beat the Edmonton Oilers you deserve to win the cup that is plain and simple that has been proven for the last two years so anybody sitting there trying to use that as a as a reason to shit on this is absolutely disgraceful you're you're, you're barking up a tree that you're not gonna win go donate to Ben's foundation uh I I believe in the cause uh it, it's absolutely something that that the community hopefully can rally behind on this and then we can move on and actually absolutely enjoy a good game of hockey i believe the first two games were very good they they weren't nail biters in the sense of the uneasiness that we had against vancouver I believe the games against the stars feel a lot more like the traditional hockey that we should be seeing in the playoffs um the empton oilers need to be more disciplined um now the calls i gotta say have been a little bit soft against the empton oilers but i think they can be more disciplined in their game even though the stats say otherwise dallas stars are due are are playing a very good game and that's why they are in the final four now the chirping saying that edmonton oilers don't deserve to be there they deserve to be there just as much as the dallas stars deserve to be there the edmonton oilers pulled themselves out of the basement and fought every way, tooth and nail, to be where they are today. And nobody can take that away from them. Nobody. Go donate to Ben's Foundation. Have yourselves a great day. I'm your product name, Phoenix Center Shadow. I will see you again very soon.